found a picture at home 20 years ago or 18 years ago. This room was empty. And now, I mean, of course, you hang things up. These are our footsteps. <laughs> so, in the age of 23 to 35. In this time, I traveled a lot. And now, I'm, uh, the result is that I, I like to stay here. To live in Berlin is, uh, this is an open place. I like this very much. I like multiculti. I start to learn this work, blacksmith, with 17 years. And when you be 17 years old and read Tolkien, <laughs> uh, you, yeah, what you do, of course, you start to make a sword. In former times, they were very rough, and now I'm able to make very fine knives. But it's a question about how serious you go in, this, in your development or in your work. But it was also always a passion for you, no? Yes, of course, because I'm always searching for the perfect form. This is my, my thing. I'm more the technical the designer in the back. Yeah, so, so and I'm, we uh, complete each other in that way. And that's for example, when my car is something falling away, <laughs> uh, I drive and drive and okay, it's okay, some tape. And, uh, and Jan, he fix it. <laughs> A knife is not a complex form. You have a point, you have a blade and you have a handle. It's not more. But uh, there are other things important to make a good tool. And this is maybe the knowledge about the material. Because the main thing in handcraft is that you have the control about the process. and you work so many years with it, you reach the point where you can do anything with that material and it does what you want. You know? And you come, become to be free in your creativity because the practical things are not a handicap when the material makes what you want. And this is amazing. It's a good feeling. It's not necessary uh, with what kind of material you work, I think. I have the experience with steel. When I make Damascus steel, this is like in the Middle Age. I, this technique is low tech here in, in Germany. Maybe 10% of forging the knives. Knife making, it's always have a place. Our product is more rare, not like a, the mainstream. Your aim is to, to use the potential of the steel to the maximum. After forging, I glow it over hours and hours and hours in a, in a special temperature, so it becomes soft. And it's possible for me to work with a mechanical tool on drilling holes and make all this stuff. When I'm ready with my handworks, uh, we have to make it hard. I bring it on a, to a temperature where the carbon leaves the iron at home. And then I put it very fast out in, in water. And so the steel goes cold and uh, the carbon won't go back to the iron uh, at home. But uh, it goes so fast cold that uh, it can't go back. It makes like, and it makes a new matrix. It makes like, chuck. When you repeat the process, the, the Atoma grid goes open and close and open and close and it gets finer and finer and finer. Mm -hmm. But then you will reach a point where it can't get finer. And so finer the steel, so sharper you are. And yeah, after five times it got, don't get finer. But I tried, you know, two times, three times, because you are always looking to optimize for high performance, blah, 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 yeah. Fortune is more to get a feeling for the material. <laughs> Yeah.
love your life and everything is gonna be alright. <laughs>